Now, uh, our next speaker will be Mr. Agustin Argelic Casals. He is the principal consultant of Argelic Networks. He is an independent and international consultant in information technologies and telecommunications. He is an engineer, expert in enterprises communications, past board member of the Society of Communications Technology Consultants International. And for more than 25 years, he's been leading projects of development and deployment of new technologies in different sectors, including uh, big events like uh, the 92 Olympic Games of Barcelona and, and others as complex as nuclear power plants. So he will share with us uh, his insights and thoughts about how to lead uh, a project of change and innovation. So Mr. Agustin. Thank you very much. Are you ready? Are you ready? Yeah. Okay. Because real, today is really a challenge to talk about digital transformation in only eight minutes, and I will try to give you. I will try to answer these two two uh, questions: which is the challenge, the real challenge that today we are facing, and which strategies, which tools are available to resolve this challenge. Now, relax, 20 seconds, and please listen very, very, very well the conversation. Why would we ever want to telephone at Downton, my lord? Well, they have their uses. You could speak to the housekeeper in London. That would be helpful, surely. I hope I have not failed in my management of the recent move. Not at all. But the telephone is here now. And the girls got used to it when we were in London. Besides, none of us know what the next few months will bring. Because of the Archduke's death. Austria won't get what it wants from Serbia. And now Russia's starting to rumble. Well, there's not much we can do about that. So, will you take care of the telephone man? See the face of this guy. He's uncomfortable. Why he's uncomfortable? Why? Because he feels that the boss is unhappy with his work. Has I failed in my work? This is the real challenge. To change, not because you are doing bad your job, because there are other tools that can improve your work. So, we must understand that it's difficult to change, that the humans only change when we really realize that there is no other option. We procrastinate, we delay, we delay, we delay our decisions. Please, don't read this book. This is the ancient regime. Corinne Mayer, 15 years working at Electricité de la France, doing nothing, nothing every day for 15 years. This is the ancient regime. Remember, we must survive, and we survive if we change, if we adapt to the new ecosystem. How is this new ecosystem? It's polyedric. It's complex. Pope Francis' sentence. Huh? Because, huh? And how can we work in this in these new ecosystems? The future is to work in multinational, multicultural teams located in different in different places of the world, working on projects, working on network. And this is very, 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 very powerful like Dr. Mario Alonso Puch tells, creativity begins when you are able to link different concepts, different ideas, that apparently there are no connection between them. Renaissance. To, to get a great disruptive idea, you must be renaissance. So, which is the solution? The solution is in leadership, in my opinion. 
how do you feel? How do your, your team feels? Are aligned? Aligned with the objective of the company? Aligned with the objective of the society? Of your community? Or is alienated? They feel oppressed. They are very, very unhappy at their position. In my opinion, leadership is about help people to be aligned, understand that they, they must be aligned. It's about aptitudes, not attitudes. You can buy attitudes, you can learn aptitudes, but you choose your aptitudes. But it's not a party. It's a disciplined collaboration. Eh? Collaboration is not a party. Examples. You must be crazy, because only if you are crazy, you are able to change the world. You must be open-minded, like Christopher Colomb. Why go to the east? Let's try to the west. And what happened in the west? We find America. Much better than go to the east. Power of imagination. It's clear I am from Barcelona. Eh? Gaudi. All, all what you create begins in your brain. Here. Imagination first. Willingness to innovate. We choose go to the moon. Not because, it's, because it is easy, because it is difficult. John Fitzgerald Kennedy, when he explained the project to go to the moon. And forget the past, we can only, only change the future, like Fray Junipero Serra. So, excellence organizations only can believe in constant improvement and change. There is no finish line. But probably one of the best sentences about the leadership that we need today from Chinese philosophy. A leader is best when people barely know that he exists. Why? Because it's everyone who must change, everyone who must take the make sorry, not take make the decision to be a builder, not to be a destroyer. Everyone, everyone, you cannot put a police behind, beside any, any, every employee, every guy, every citizen. It has no sense, it, it doesn't work. You must be in the interdependent. Eh? Like Steve Covey, eh? You, eh? eight habits to be efficient, and, uh, and when you are efficient, you are independent. You can work in team all together in a multicultural environment. Be efficient, it's do the work well without waste time or energy. Eh? All we can do, it's very, very important today when you face a digital transformation, you must sell. You must sell the project. You must sell the project to the C level. You must sell the process to all the people. Very important because they must change. Eh? There is always a mistake here, eh? that you need time and you need money for training. It's very important, and it's always a, a key point where fight more, fight more of the projects, okay? You must personalize the personalize project, right? but you have no other option. Remember, Brigada Pomorska, okay? Charging against? German tanks. What happened? Ignoring the nature of the tanks, they charged with the snows and lances, and of course, they suffered tremendous losses. And this is General Guderian. Eh? So, you must use the right technology if you want to, 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 to win a war, a war. You need to use the right technology. And you don't need to ignore the nature of the things because your competitors will change. So, now I have three slides to finish. I don't want to read them. This one is about why I think that are the skills that everyone must have, must have in a, in, to face with success this digital era. This is our, the preferred skills to lead the digital transformation. Huh? Uh, of course, the, the presentations will be available, and if you uh, ask me a copy of them, it's, I, I will send to you. Okay? 
And this, as you said, ah, of course, 40, only 46 seconds, sorry. Here are the 10 best practices that, in my opinion, you must do when, when you are uh, leading uh, a digital transformation on, on any project based on innovation. Okay. Everybody must be involved, on board, listen, spend, spend time with the team. You must understand communication. There is today a lack of communication. Text is a low band beach. You need to be there using the video, uh, prioritize, you need to test. But there are here, you can read, okay? An example of success. This is one of our projects. It's the, 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 the IP telecom network of Mercabarna, Mercabarna like Merca Madrid, okay? The world say market, where 800 companies go into the digital uh, business uh, came in from very, 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 very traditional uh, business, like this agriculture and, and, and things like this. Okay? So, in my opinion, we are better than ever. We have the best technology, we have the best communication between us, and we have a great knowledge, a lot of philosophy, and we must use it. Because we have a lot of problems in our world, but we can improve it. Thank you very much.